Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Timster. Today we're going to be going over part three in the Project Enemy AI tutorial series. So in the last part, what we did is we got an enemy moving to a certain point, then tracking towards a player like so, and then also hopefully moving cover if the cover is unsafe. However, there were a couple problems as you can see here. And there were also some other issues that weren't working so well. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically address all those issues and hopefully get some other stuff done as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is exit out of the game, then go over here. And last tutorial, what we did is we moved up all of these cover points. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually go and select all of them. And what we're going to do is just move them back down. So I'm going to select all of these and just basically move them down to their original location like that. Uh, that should be fine just above the sort of navigation mesh. And then now what we're going to do is on our enemy AI, we're going to go to the set position script. And in here, we're just going to put in dot x dot uh, x, copy and paste this whole line like that, and then dot y and dot y. So basically before we were doing X, Y, and Z, which meant that the Z, it would get like sunk into the ground. However, of course, we don't actually need that. We only need the X and Y positions, uh, so it's in the right spot. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the find cover script, and I'm going to go over here and delete uh, enemy status. Then also what I'm gonna do is one more thing, and that is add another property. Oops, and this is gonna be called target. This here will be a string. We'll select that as well. And so basically, uh, this here distant object can be own target. And here, what we're going to do is assign own target, oops, own target to i. So also in here, uh, I'm going to choose own target, own target. All right, cool. So let's go to the set position script here. And what we want to do is check whether the target here has been hit instead of uh, assigning this and then just sort of contradicting ourselves. So what we're gonna do is select this line here, press Control X to cut, and we're gonna put it down the bottom here like that. So then down here, what we're gonna basically do is, uh, I guess just delete that and check if the first item here is equal to own target. So then what we also need to do is go over here and assign own target to nothing. So now that, that will sort of reset everything. Now make sure over here you add two equal signs like so. Now also what I'm gonna do is within the script, go ahead and set the enemy status to one. So own enemy status is equal to one. Cool, so now we should be able to get rid of that. We won't need that anymore. All right, now make sure you only use one equal sign. Now also one more thing I'm gonna do is the collision sensor here. I'm gonna turn off tap and turn on true. So it's constantly refreshing. So hopefully that should get rid of most of the bugs. I guess we can set it to one. All right, so let's press P and go over there. That should be unsafe, so we move to another spot, and then that one there is unsafe, so back to the old one. Cool, so there we go. I think that is most of the bugs gone. So hopefully now we can get on to some other states. So what we're going to get into now is the actual sort of states here instead of just trying to use a property. Now what this means over here is visible is the one that you're using or editing, and initial is the one that it starts on. So we always want it to start on one, so it runs straight to cover. Then over here, I'm gonna make a second state, and this is gonna be if it can't find anyone. Then here, I'm gonna add myself a near cover, and if that is equal to false, so inverted. So over here, uh, let's go ahead, add steering, join that in, uh, path following, and I guess just walk towards the player. So if we have a player here, and then the navigation mesh. All right, and yeah, I guess that should be all fine. Maybe acceleration to two. And let's visualize as well. And so now if we go back to our main layer here, 
this is 10 and 11. So I guess put the same values here. Uh, and then I don't think we need to constantly check. It should trigger uh, by itself. If that happens, we also need to be able to set it to that state. So let's go over here, add a NAND, join that in. And over here, let's set it to that state. So set it to state two. So now on state two, what I'm gonna do is actually, let's use an always replace that. And over here, when we when cover is true, or it is near cover, then what we want to do is set it back to state one. So state, and we want to set it back to state one. Now let's also in our AI here, uh, select the information so we can see what's happening. So if we press P, uh, nothing's happening, and the state is at 1, which means it hasn't changed to state 2 yet. Now what I'm going to do is, I guess, uh, we'll add a near. This can be also 10 and 11, cover, and this can be inverted, and then we'll just use that instead. So change it to and, use an inverted of the cover uh, to set it to the state. All right, and so now if we press P, there you go, he's on state two and moving slowly over towards our player. Now you'll notice he's found cover as well, and now he's behind the cover, like so. Now what you can also do is when he is just moving slowly towards the player, uh, again, slowly is the keyword because that's what he's not doing. So let's turn down the speed, maybe one, and uh, 1.5 for the acceleration. We'll go over to this layer here, and we'll increase the velocity maybe to four. Now what we also need is a death state. Let's just say down here. So basically here, this is gonna be really simple. Add an always, uh, and then edit object and end object. So instead of always, let's make it a delay. And then here you can choose uh, how long the body lasts once it's dead, 10 seconds, or maybe you wanna make it 20 seconds. So this will last for uh, not 20, this will last for 12 seconds. So 10 seconds is 600, and 20 seconds would be 1,200. So if we go over to our first state here, and just let's put a keyboard press or something, and just set it to that state. So over there, and let's just set it to the death state. So just to make it easier, I'm also gonna turn down the delay, maybe just to 120, so two seconds. Now for the keyboard here, we have already used Z uh, for the motion which we probably don't need anymore. So let's go ahead and remove that. And also get rid of that uh, keyboard here we don't need either. All right, so this one here, we can use Z. So if we press P uh, and you try it now, you'll notice it doesn't work. The reason for that is uh, on state two, we don't have criteria to set them to the death state. So we have to wait till we find cover like that. And then there we go now, if I press it, He's ended. So I'm just going to delete all of these. And now what I'm going to do is add a health property. And the health property here is going to be an integer. Let's just make it 100. This here, we're going to go to property and check whether health is equal to zero. And if so, then we're going to go ahead and set the state of the player to the death state. Now, what's really important is you have to make sure that you do this on every state that your player can die on. So this means over here, we also need to do it. What we can also do, a sneaky sort of tip, is if you go over here and you have this here, you can pin it like that. And we can also do the same for the state. Now this means we won't have to keep remaking uh, these same centers. So let's go over here, and then in this state, just basically add an AND and join them in. Now also what we want to do is uh, one more thing. So instead of equal to zero, I'm gonna make it an interval, uh, and maximum will be zero, and minimum will be negative 100. So this is basically gonna be useful for if your, say, bullets do 20 damage each and the health goes below zero. Now what we can do is with this health here, set this to true. So on state two, uh, just to make this easier, let's go over here. So when we hold down, let's make it X, and we want to reduce the health. So we want to add health, and then let's make it minus 10. All right, so we'll press P hold down X, and there you go. He's been sent to the death state and deleted.
Cool, so there we go guys, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a like, comment, or share down below. Uh, this one I think I kept a little bit shorter than last time, just to make sure we didn't have any other major issues or anything, uh, as I'm sure that's not very much fun to watch, and especially wait for, uh, for the next week. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next week we'll hopefully be covering a bit more, and we'll also be getting into getting the sort of rig and animations going, which will be a bit more helpful. But apart from that, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.